In this video, we'll show you how to use the PVS Studio plugin in the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE. This plugin provides not only static analysis, but also a wide range of features for working with the analyzer messages. There are two ways to download the plugin installer – via the PVS Studio website or via the Visual Studio Marketplace plugin repository. Option 1 – Installer for Windows to install the plugin with the Windows installer, open the download page on the PVS Studio website, select the desired parameters and click Download. The PVS Studio installer will contain the plugin, the analyzer core and the additional tools. Please note, you need to enter a license key to work with the plugin. Option 2. Installing from Visual Studio Marketplace To install the plugin from the Marketplace, open Extensions, Manage Extensions and search PVS Studio. Click Download and the PVS Studio installer for Windows will download automatically. The installer contains the plugin, the analyzer core and the additional tools. The installer will ask you to close all active processes in all development environments and offer to install plugins for all installed IDEs. The first thing you need to do after installation is to enter the license key. If you don't have the license, you can request a free trial key. To enter the license information, go to Extensions, PVS Studio, Options, and select Registration. Here you need to enter the name, usually it's the email you use to request a key, and the license key. You can also request a license in the installation form. After installing the components, you'll see a window with the registration form. There, you can either request a trial license or enter the existing one. If you have already entered the license, you can skip this step. The PVS Studio plugin supports the analysis of the whole solution as well as separate projects and files. To run the analysis, select the desired files or projects, right-click on the file or project and select Analyze with PVS Studio in the context menu. You can also run the analysis for the current file from the PVS Studio plugin menu. In the upper bar of the plugin, Select Extensions, PVS Studio, check Current File. The PVS Studio plugin for Visual Studio supports analysis of projects and source files for the C, C++ and C# -sharp languages. To check specific projects, for example, and make projects, you can use the compiler monitoring system. After the analysis, a window with the full analysis results will appear in Visual Studio. Here you can mark those warnings that seem interesting to you, select certainty levels, open documentation for diagnostic rules, and perform other manipulations with warnings. If you need to go to a code fragment with a potential error, just double-click the line with the warning in the PVS Studio window. Click on the hamburger button in the upper left corner to open the additional menu of the PVS Studio pane. Here you can mark warnings as false positives, suppress all warnings, hide or show warnings, as well as perform other actions. We'll tell you about some of them. If you're just getting started using a static analyzer and want to find out what it's capable of, you can use the best warnings mechanism. This mechanism will show you the most important and reliable warnings. It may be especially helpful if there are too many warnings in the report. By clicking one button, you can evaluate the errors and fix the most important ones. If you want to view the most interesting warnings from the analyzer's point of view, click the Best button. After that, the 10 most critical warnings of the analyzer will remain in the table with the analysis results. One way or another, false positives will appear in the analysis report. In these cases, mass suppression mechanism may come in handy. To mark a message as false, right-click on the warning line and select Mark selected messages as false alarms. After that, a special comment of this type will be added to the warning line, where triple X is the number of the PVS Studio diagnostic group. You can also manually add such a comment to the warning. The warnings marked as false positives will disappear from the analysis report. If you still want to see these warnings, you can use a special setting. Go Extensions, PVS Studio, Options, Specific Analyzer Settings, Display False Alarms. This setting displays false positive warnings in the analysis report. By default, this setting is marked as false. After being marked, warnings disappear from the report. 
If you change this setting as true, warnings won't disappear from the report but get a special mark. As a result, you'll see a column where false positive warnings have an icon of a crossed out bell. Using the Remove False Alarm Marks from Selected Messages command in the context menu, you can remove the false alarm mark from selected messages. If you don't want to add comments to the code, then you can use the Message Suppression mechanism and add a warning to the surprise file. To do this, select another context menu item, Add Selected Messages to Suppression File. When you run the analysis on a big project for the first time, you may see a long list of warnings issued on legacy code. Therefore, new warnings may get lost in this list. Legacy code is probably tested and the most serious errors have already been fixed. Then you can suppress all warnings with the mass suppression mechanism and work comfortably with the further analysis. This simplifies the plugin integration. To suppress all warnings, click Suppress all messages in the additional menu bar. To suppress some warnings, select them, right-click and select Add selected messages to suppression file in the context menu. After that, all suppressed messages will be added to the suppress files. If you move code lines, the warning won't reappear since neighboring lines are also considered during suppression. However, if you make edits in code next to the one marked with the warning, it will reappear when you run the analysis next time. If necessary, you can suppress these warnings again. The first setting in this list is Common Analyzer Settings. By default, the optimal settings are defined in this tab. Thread count, number of threads PVS Studio uses for the analysis, is equal to number of cores in the processor used. Remove intermediate files may come in handy if you encounter an issue in the analyzer and you need to report it to us. If you set false, then artifacts, pre-processed files and configuration files will remain after the analysis. These files may help us identify and solve the issue. Check for new version is responsible for automatic check of available updates. The Detectable Errors settings helps you specify the warnings you want to see. You can show or hide separate warnings and entire diagnostic groups. You can display or hide separate warnings and select the following options for the entire diagnostic group. Disabled disables the diagnostic group entirely. Warnings from this group won't appear in the analysis report. If you want to enable the diagnostic group, you need to restart the analysis. Show All displays all warnings from this diagnostic group in the analysis report. Hide All hides all warnings from this diagnostic group in the analysis report. The Don't Check Files setting helps enhance the analysis quality and speed. Here you can exclude files or directories from the analysis. For example, those files that don't directly relate to the project. By default, the most common excluded directories and extensions are specified in this setting. If you see warnings on third-party code, for example, then you should add it to path masks. With the Keyword Message Filtering setting, you can specify keywords that need to be excluded from the analysis results. For example, if you have messages about errors related to printf and you think that there should be no such errors, you can add the printf keyword. Messages containing this keyword will be filtered out immediately without restarting the analysis. By default, the plugin is configured to work in the most common conditions. However, if a project has specific features, you can configure the analyzer with specific analyzer settings. This tab contains advanced analyzer settings. For example, Analysis Timeout allows you to set timeout after which the analysis of a file will be terminated. By default, the timeout is set to 10 minutes. Source3Root allows you to set the base directory with the project. This will generate transferable analyzer reports. Display False Alarms allows you to display warnings marked as false alarms in the PVS Studio report window. So, now we've found out how to work with the PVS Studio plugin for Visual Studio and inspected the most interesting features. If you haven't found what you were looking for, take a look at our documentation. Maybe there will be an answer to your question. The link is in the video description. Thanks for watching!